Hey there, Sharon Hornelson here. Make waves, making waves. Day 867 of What's She Up To Now. It's just me documenting my journey as I transition from the brick and mortar, real world of businesses, to the online world. And I have some visual challenges, so instead of writing and blogging and documenting and creating a, a diary or a journey journal, I hop on Facebook Live and on this page and in this post, I share what am I doing? What's working? What's not working? What has gotten me totally sidetracked? Uh, launches that work, launches that fail. And I've sort of settled into doing challenges. Why? Because I've been doing challenges my whole life. 20 years before I ever got online at least, I've been doing challenges. And it, it's now it's amazing to watch. It's exploding. Everybody's doing challenges. Uh, but I still do them in a, my own unique way and other people do them in their way. Uh, and so challenges are kind of my thing making moves, making waves, uh, disrupting thought processes and, and industries. It's, it's kind of my thing. I've always been a little bit of an instigator, at least when it comes to the world of business and the world of work, because there's a lot of things that work right in the world of business. There's a lot of things that are really effed up. There's a lot of things that industries do that you just shake your head and you're like, why do you even do that? That's the dumbest, most non-productive thing I've ever seen. And they'll have they'll have good reasons. They'll tell you why they do it. Oh, we've always done it that way. And, and so I love breaking those paradigms, breaking those beliefs that aren't serving the industry and creating an instigating change in that way. And that all comes from focusing on solutions, right? We focus on solutions, not problems. We see the problem and then we focus on the solution. As soon as we identify what the problem, the real root cause of the problem is, then we can offer solutions. But all of this, the symptoms and the band-aids and the uh, things, it's, it's kind of like in healthcare as well. Uh, if you've ever gotten sick and you had to go to the doctor and they couldn't diagnose what was wrong with you, but they just gave you some, some medications and they told you to do some things that didn't work, but they helped to alleviate your symptoms, that's sort of how um, every industry does it in their own way. They, they forget to address the real problems and they just mask it by covering up the symptoms and in the long term in the short term that works to get you by and get you through but in the long term that always implodes and explodes and so you have to make some waves and fix by really solving the problems so today was day eight well today's 867 for this segment it was 158 for fun challenge which was all about having a penguin's perspective super appropriate actually in terms of what's going on in our country right now. We need to put ourselves in other people's shoes um, and be more open to the possibilities, but again, the possibilities of solutions, not the possibilities of uh, making the world a worse place, but of making the world a better place. And that comes from focusing on solutions, but it helps us to have a different perspective and to put ourselves in other people's shoes. Now, it doesn't mean that we all punish ourselves and beat ourselves up and have self-hate and self-loathing because of the color of our skin because that's the, the same as being prejudiced against people because of the color of their skin. Uh, totally off topic. But I, I like the idea of having a perspective from something other than our own. Now the, the thing is, we can only ever have our own perspective because we've all lived through our own body and our own life and our own experiences. But even though we can only have that, it doesn't mean we can't open up our mind and ask questions and read and learn and understand and grow and, and think about other perspectives and other ways of being and other ways of thinking. Anyway, uh, get up and go challenge day 13 today. We're starting the second round of SOAP, which is the problem solving, challenge solving, um, change process. And SOAP is all about your situation, your story. Where are you now versus where you want to be? And I'm doing it, and I've done most of my trainings this way uh, for uh, challenges. You know, we, we have seven main areas of our life. If we ignore any one of them, it will give us a wake up call and get our attention. So the last, the first time through, I did my physical well-being, my health, something physical. Now this time I'm going through and I'm doing it with respect to financial aspect of our lives. And I'll do that. And then after that, I'm going to do relationships. And I will admit that relationships is probably the toughest one for me personally. Uh, and so that's why I make myself do it. Because I want to show people that even the hard things, we need to always be doing and looking at. The hard things for us. For other people, it's, it's a piece of cake. That doesn't even phase them. But for me personally, uh, and, and why? Because I've got some baggage that I still haven't gotten rid of. And with respect to relationships, different types of relationships as well. 
And then after that, I'm not sure which one I'll pick. I might pick one of the other seven, a different one, or I might go back to physical, or I might go back to financial. I, I don't know yet. I haven't decided that far ahead. But I do know I'm doing physical, financial, relationships, and then something else as part of that challenge. Because I, like everybody else, repetition is the mother of skill. So I want to make sure that I'm continually practicing the processes that I, I preach and, and doing and walking the talk, not just talking and telling people what to do, but I'm actually doing it right along with them because it's a lot more fun too. Uh, don't know my granddaughter today, so I am heading out as soon as I'm done making this video to have a nice walk in nature. Hopefully it's not busy out yet. My son was riding his bike and he stopped by and he said it's actually cold today. Cold for summer in Wisconsin. I guess it was in the 80s yesterday, but it was only 49 this morning. So he was coming to get warmer clothes and I am going to make sure I dress accordingly when I go out and about. But I try to make some time out in nature for myself every single day and every single day for the last you know nine years nine plus almost ten years I've tried to make that and not tried I have made that a part of my life because it's a great equalizer a great balancing force for me personally and we each need to find something like that especially in times of chaos and turmoil and change like we're experiencing here in the United States we have to have a way to to ground ourselves to to, to get us into the, the core and the solid foundation that we're all based on, which, you know, is our core values. So that's how I do it. That I, I spend some time walking around in nature and just, I walk, and I used to say I walked on purpose, but I do walk on purpose because I have a sudden cardiac arrest, and the last time I ran, it actually set my box off. So I, I use that as my excuse to not run. Not that I was ever much of a runner anyway. My legs are like this long, so how fast and how good a runner was I ever going to be? And when you're running, you miss all the beautiful things that are around you. You can't stop and take a picture when you're running. So I've always used that as my way to say that I prefer walking. And I actually do prefer walking because there's things that we see out in the world that we wouldn't otherwise see. It's all about that perspective. So yeah, that is all I've got for you today. If I can help you in any way, ask, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another update on what I'm working on. And I'm actually going to work on some branding things today. I'm doing a... I'm in a branding coaching program for branding and it's a mastermind and accountability and the whole night guards and I'm actually really really enjoying it I'm enjoying the mastermind and the accountability portion of it more than the the methods and the technology and the and the stuff I know a lot of that stuff but I haven't been necessarily doing it and I'm in a, a huge process of rebranding at the beginning of coronavirus it's so fun to hear my little granddaughter say well, after the corona, or after the coronavirus is over, in her cute little tinkly voice, uh, we talk about, she talks about stuff a lot, and, and I talk about it as well, but since coronavirus and, and our, our separation and our physical distancing and things, uh, my business and my life has been pretty much as usual, but I have been carefully and selectively letting pajama grandma slip by the wayside, and, and I'm rebranding to to myself and then something else and I think it's the get up and go challenge but the group is like yeah do people really know what get up and go means you know I don't know there's this whole push for marketing and sales to have all your keywords and do all this and and make it searchable but I just want to do what feels right for making the world a better place I don't want to be focused on the tactics and the strategies and the you know you got to have all these keywords you got to keyword stuff I I don't know about y'all, but when I read a post that's got a whole bunch of hashtags and highlighted words in it, like on LinkedIn or Facebook or something, it drives me nuts. Now, it could be because I don't see very well anyway, so to have to make the effort of, of changing those in my brain is like an extra step. It's just, it's just annoying, and I know it's written for the author, not for the benefit of the person that's reading it. So that's one of those things that I know people are out coaching people to do and teaching them to do, but it's really, really annoying for the human being. It might be awesome for the algorithm, but it's not so fun for us. So have an awesome day, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.